Good morning children. Welcome back. I am your social science teacher Mrs. Sitara. In the last class we were dealing with unit 4 atmosphere. Before going into today's session let us have a recap of what we learnt. In the previous two sessions we discussed about biosphere, the composition of air, the different layers of atmosphere and solar radiation. We also saw about the elements of climate like the temperature, pressure, wind, clouds and rainfall. We also learned about the different types of wind like the planetary wind, monsoon wind, sea breeze, land breeze, local wind, jet streams and cyclones. In this session we will discuss about clouds and rainfall. Children. Are you interested in seeing the clouds in the sky? You like to watch them change their shape? Isn't it? Then tell me what are clouds? Clouds are large collection of very tiny droplets of water. What are clouds? They are large collection of very tiny droplets of water. These clouds are divided into four types. How many types they are divided into? Four. On the basis of appearance and height. It depends on the appearance of the cloud as well as in the height of the cloud it is divided into four types. They are the cirrus clouds, stratus clouds, cumulus cloud and nimbus clouds. Cirrus, stratus, cumulus, nimbus. Now let us learn the spellings first. Cirrus. C I R R U S. Cirrus. C I R R U S. Cirrus. Stratus. S T R A T U S. Stratus. S T R A T U S. Stratus. Cumulus. C U M U L U S. Cumulus. C U M U L U S cumulus nimbus N I M B U S nimbus N I M B U S nimbus What are the four types of clouds cirrus clouds stratus clouds cumulus cloud and nimbus clouds I am sure children you would have seen this formation of clouds in the sky the cirrus cloud appear like a silver grey fish at a very high altitude in the sky. They appear like a silver grey fish at very high altitude in the sky. These may not give rain. It is not a rain cloud. It is appearing high altitude, very high in the sky. So they are not going to give us rain. The second form of cloud is a stratus cloud. They are also grey in color and are spread out. They are very much distributed, spread out clouds. They may give small showers. They will give small showers. Stratus clouds may give small showers. Showers means rain. Children, have you seen puffy white cotton like clouds on the sky? Very pretty ones. Yes, those clouds are the cumulus cloud. The cumulus cloud looks like a puffy white cotton and gives convectional rainfall. Children, a convectional rainfall is when the energy of the sun heats the surface of the earth and it makes the water to evaporate in the form of water vapor. When the land heats up, it, the, it warms the air above it. As the air rises it cools and condenses and form the condensation clouds giving the convectional rainfall. These clouds are associated with rainfall, lightning and thunder. So when there is cumulus cloud in the sky you can be sure that there is going to be rainfall with lightning and thunder. Children a thunder is a sound caused by the lightning. 
And what is lightning? It is a giant spark of electricity in the atmosphere between the clouds, the air or the ground. The clouds which appear dark or grey in colour are called as nimbus clouds. The clouds which appear dark or grey in colour are called as a nimbus cloud. It gives heavy rainfall. It gives us heavy rainfall. It is called vertical or rain clouds. Another name for nimbus cloud is vertical cloud or rain clouds. They are called vertical clouds because they are very tall and may appear in many cloud levels. That's why it is called as vertical clouds. So the four different types of clouds are cirrus clouds which are silver grey fish and they may not give rain. Stratus cloud appearing in grey color and are they spread out they give small showers. The cumulus cloud looks like a puffy white cotton and it gives convectional rainfall. Nimbus clouds appear as dark or grey in color. It gives heavy rainfall. It is also called as vertical cloud or rain clouds. Children, do you love rain? Playing in it? You enjoy when it rains, right? Jumping on the poodles and splashing water, getting yourself wet in the rain, right? Now we will see what is a rainfall. The condensation of the water vapor causes the rainfall. Now condensation is the process by which the water vapors, water in the gaseous form turns into liquid. How it will happen when the molecules of water vapor cool and they collect together as liquid water. You can see the water vapor on the outside of cold glasses or in the warm side of windows etc. So condensation of water vapor causes the rainfall. The rain water must be saved and not be wasted. It is showers of blessings from the sky. It is not to be wasted. In our in Tamil Nadu, we have rainwater harvesting system, right? Every new house or a building is constructed. The government insists that they should conserve the rainwater that is available on the rooftops. It has to be harvested and it is sent to the pits which are dug in the ground. That is a must. It will increase the water capacity of the earth. The classification of rainfall is of three types. We can classify the rainfall into three types. They are convectional rainfall, orographic rainfall and cyclonic rainfall. Convectional, orographic and cyclonic. Convectional C O N V E C T I O N A L convectional C O N V E C T I O N A L convectional rainfall orographic O R O G R A P H I C orographic O R O G R A P H I C orographic cyclonic C Y C L O N I C cyclonic. How many types of rainfalls are there, children? There are three types. Which are they? They are convectional rainfall, orographic rainfall, and cyclonic rainfall. In the picture, you can see the circulation of air in the Konkan area, resulting in very heavy rainfall in Mumbai, Raigad, and Ratnagiri districts because the air. The eastern guts are there, the mountain, mountain layers are there. It will not allow the circulation to escape and so it comes northwards before dissipating and give rain to Mumbai and Raigad. Now children we will see what is a convectional rainfall. During summer solar insulation takes place. What is the word? Solar insulation. I N S O L A T I O N. Insulation. I N S O L A T I O N. Insulation. Insulation is the solar radiation that reaches the Earth's surface. How much energy, how much solar energy we are getting in a place. So, because of more exposure, 
takes place in the land and water evaporates from lakes ponds oceans and vegetation so water from the water bodies and from the vegetation the water will evaporate in the form of water vapor and due to this a heavy rainfall with lightning and thunder occurs in the evenings for a short period thus causing the convectional rainfall now we will see what is an orographic rainfall when the moisture laden winds from the sea from the sea winds are blowing and since sea it is sea area it is full of moisture water vapors are more so when the moisture laden winds from the sea rises as it moves over a mountain range it becomes cool and causes heavy rainfall the opposite side of the mountain is called as the leeward side the opposite side of the mountain is called as a leeward side that side receives very little rainfall what happens when the water vapor from sea evaporates and it is moving towards the mountain range it will rise the water vapor will rise and it becomes cool and causes heavy rainfall opposite side of mountain which is called as a leeward side will receive very little rainfall such kind of rainfall is called as an orographic rainfall now we will see what is a cyclonic rainfall children cyclones are a storm or a system of wind that rotates about a center of low atmospheric pressure it is a wind that moves in a it moves in a circular manner The warm air from the hot area is heated and moves upward hence a low pressure area is developed and it attracts air from high pressure area owing to earth's rotation in a circular motion wind develop it gets cooled and brings heavy rainfall due to the rotation the cyclone is formed and it be- it becomes cooled and brings heavy rainfall the warm air from the hot area is heated up and it moves upwards forming a low pressure area which will attract air from high pressure area and moving owing to this pressure difference and due to the earth's rotation of circular motion a wind will develop it gets cooled and brings heavy rainfall now let us see what is rainwater harvesting or marineer sekharipa Rainwater harvesting is a technique of collection and storage of rainwater. It is the technique of collecting and storing rainwater into the natural reservoirs. The natural reservoirs could be lakes, ponds or wells or tanks that are built or the infiltration of surface water. What is the meaning of il- infiltration? I N f i l t r a t i o n infiltration it is a process by which the water soaks into the subsurface soils and moves into ra- rocks through cracks and porous surface it can be absorbed by the soil and may stay in the soil for a long time until it gets evaporated in the picture you can see the infiltration of water into the subsurface the infiltration of surface water into subsurface aquifers a q u i f e r s aquifers a q u i f e r s aquifers an aquifer is an underground layer of water bearing permeable rock rock fractures or unconsolidated consolidated materials like gravel sand or silt in our school we have an aquifer have you seen it in the corner of the place we have all the rain water goes into that and the ground water or the overflow water goes into the aquifer before it is lost as surface runoff runoff means it moves off to a runoff occurs when there is more water than the land can absorb the excess water flows across the surface of land into the creeks streams or ponds so 
the water we get from rain it is collected and stored into the natural reservoirs like lakes or rivers or ponds or wells or constructed tanks and the water is infiltrated into the subsurface aquifers the collection of water in between the cracks and creeks before it is lost before it is lost as a runoff before it overflows over the land surface and off to the stream or a river the picture you see is a, that of a rooftop harvesting of rain water the water is collected and it is reused in toilets in gardens and other utilities now we will see the glossary condensation c o n d e n s a t i o n condensation that is a process of a gas changing into liquid a water vapor changing into water is a condensation reservoir r e s e r v o i r reservoir it is a large lake vegetation v e g e t a t i o n vegetation are plants biosphere is a combination of lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere that can support life the climate is the average weather condition of a vast area over more than 30 years before we wind up the session let us have a recap of what we learned in this session we discussed about clouds the different types of clouds the cirrus clouds which appear like silver gray fish at very high altitude and they may not give rain the stratus clouds gray in color and are spread out they may give small showers the cumulus clouds look like puffy white cotton and it provides convectional rainfall it the rainfall is associated with thunder and lightning the nimbus clouds appear as dark or gray in color it gives heavy rainfall it is also called as vertical or rain clouds we also saw about the rainfall the three types of rainfall like the convectional rainfall orographic rainfall and cyclonic rainfall natural environment are natural materials living things and sunlight all these things together form the natural environment we also learned about the rain water harvesting which is the collection and storage of rain water into natural reservoirs or the infiltration of surface water into the subsurface aquifers we also saw how the rain water can be harvested from the rooftops easily and can be recycled so with that we come to the end of today's session my dear children in the next session we will do the evaluation until we meet again children stay safe stay blessed thank you